Women hate these very common sex positions and brace yourself because your favorite position is in here. Welcome back, Jessica here. You know, I got this message from a guy who was complaining that no matter what he did, no matter what sex position he tried, his girlfriend would always complain and make him feel inadequate and less of a man. After a few conversations with him and going into great detail of what exactly he does and what kind of um, positions he was trying out, I realized very quickly that he was the problem. I'll explain as this video goes on. You see, there are so many men who tend to believe that the way they know how to do things is the way it's done. They're not willing to learn new ways, new approaches, because maybe they got it online watching porn and they felt like that was the formula because they heard all these women moaning like crazy. For starters, sorry to burst your bubble, but a lot of the stuff you watch in porn is not real. Men are not able to have constant erections for the duration of that video and for such a long time unless of course they're on something to be honest not every position is completely enjoyable so sorry to burst your bubble in that sense let me bring you the real scoop from the powder room what women have been talking about and what i think would help you up your sex game let me say that this video is for mature audiences and i would love for all of us to approach the subject with respect and sensitivity. If you want to improve your intimate relationships, there are a couple of things that you need to do. The first thing is to learn and unlearn because too many guys seem to think the fastest way or the easiest way or the best way to make love to a woman is kiss her lips, then kiss her neck, play with her boobs. If you're into oral sex, go down on her and then penetrate. As to whether she enjoyed the moment, or as to whether she achieved orgasm, is really none of your business. You're able to bust a nut, you're happy, you roll over, you sleep, and you call yourself king. Ah, sorry. Right now, you're not kinging. Why? Because women are complaining behind your back. You seem to have one formula that's worked for you. And for years, that's how you've approached your every sexual encounter. Yes, maybe the women don't want to hurt your ego, and so they silently take whatever you give them, walk away, and you never find them again or they never come back for more. That is a point at which you have to actually start thinking and thinking deeply about your style and your approach. So even though the video's title is Women Hate These Common Sex Positions, I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you about all the sex positions that women actually find extremely uncomfortable that are also really common sex positions that they encounter with every intimate moment. It's crucial to understand that every woman's comfort and consent is paramount in every relationship or sexual encounter. Understanding and respecting her boundaries are important because no two bodies are the same. What feels good to Eve may not feel good to Ava. Now that I've gotten that thought out of the way, let me tell you about the five common sex positions that women do not like. You ready? Number one, the missionary position. And everybody knows what the missionary position is. Man lying on top of the woman. Okay. Now, in as much as this is the most common um, position, sexual position that a lot of people go to, and even, I dare say, a lot of men find boring if their women don't try any other style out but the missionary. Don't get me wrong. The missionary position is quite comfortable for the woman. She's on her back. She doesn't, it doesn't require much effort from her, but it begins to become uncomfortable the moment the man pushes her body a bit too far. What am I talking about? I'm talking about certain angles that involves the woman's legs being pushed too far back or being raised too high can cause discomfort, strain, or even pain. And I'm sorry to break it to you guys. Not all the hmms and ahs that you hear are actually sounds of pleasure. So obviously, with, based on what I've said, during missionary, you'd like to do different variations of it to maybe inject some fun into the whole activity, correct? So things like lifting her legs 
and pushing them towards her body so it can gain more access to her vagina can quickly become painful and or uncomfortable depending on the size and I mean the physical size of the woman. So when you do such things you need to really be sure that this woman is flexible enough that she can take it that she's not uncomfortable and there are different ways you can do that by observing her body language as the act is going on or asking her if she's enjoying the position. One way to get yourself out of a very uncomfortable situation would be to merely ask, are you enjoying this? Is this good enough for you? And the second sex position I'd like to address is kind of closely related to the first one and the reasons why the first one isn't exactly great. Now this position is also uncomfortable or disliked by quite a number of women because it allows for deep penetration. The doggy style. <laughs> and I get it, men tend to like the doggy style position because you get to see the derriere of your woman and you sort of take full control of thrusts and how hard you go or how slow you go and you're unhinged or unhindered in that sense. But the reason why the doggy style can quickly become one of the least favorite styles for women is the deep penetration bit of it makes it very unpleasant and or uncomfortable, especially if the guy doesn't know just how hard he should be going or not. Bear with me here. There's some guys who like to literally hit the womb of a woman. That's not pleasurable, it's painful. And a lot of women will attest to that. So if you're someone who loves the doggy style, I'm not saying don't do it. I am saying that be mindful of how you engage. Contrary to what a lot of guys think, deep penetration can be very, very painful and uncomfortable for women. So if you're going to approach the doggy style, approach it with all the gentility that you can muster. Now, before I jump off the doggy style position, let me also say that you need to consider the size of your member before you engage in that particular one. Because if you are too big, that whole awkward position of her having to arch her back and whatnot actually makes the vagina a little tighter. And so all she's gonna be feeling is pain instead of pleasure. Now there's this guy who's been giving me vibes that his default position is to grab the woman, pin her against the wall and make love to her, right? He's a big guy, he's got bulging muscles, lifting any woman is not a problem. But let me tell you what the issue is, and this is gonna bring me into number three. The issue here is a lot of the standing positions are very uncomfortable, both standing and unsupported positions. And I get it, some of the styles are just generally uncomfortable, but I think a lot of men need to consider the woman a little bit more before they engage and especially engage in certain sexual positions for a very long time. Now, the reason why I say standing in unsupported positions are um, can be disliked by a lot of women is the fact that she has no control of the level of penetration that she gets. If you pin her against the wall, it's your strength you're using to keep her in the air. She cannot pretty much help you in any other way. And the level of thrust will also come along with, for instance, how you pull her towards yourself as you're thrusting, um, etc. And so in that case, she won't be able to regulate the level of penetration that she's getting from that position. And if you happen to be too big, uh, thrust too deep, it can quickly turn painful and uncomfortable as opposed to pleasurable. And I know some of the stuff we've seen online and in movies and stuff like that can be very, very deceptive. They make it seem like it's all pleasurable and women love that kind of stuff. Not necessarily as you're finding out in this video. Let's move on to number four. So the fourth sex position I want us to talk about are those sex positions that require rapid or rough movements. Now, quickies are fun. Quickies are exciting. Quickies can be just what you need to set you right, right? Um, especially when you have no time and you're in the mood. Now, the thing with positions that come along with quickies are usually they're so awkward because you're trying to fit into a space, maybe at the back of your car, maybe you're trying to um, fit into some small shower or, you know, just some place that you know you're not supposed to be doing this. You're in a hurry, right? You want to get this over and done with. Now, quickies that happen in very awkward spaces also allow for women to dry up very fast depending on, once again, just how awkward a position she's in, you know? There, there are times when if it's rough sex and you're going so fast, you may not be able to wait for her to really be well lubricated or turned on to enjoy the moment, so it ends up being really painful. 
And there's also, depending on what position she's in, she could dry up really quick if she's exposed to a lot of air in the meantime while, those, while the sexual act is going on. So these are some of the things you need to consider when you think about like positions that require rapid, rough um, movements or sex, um, like the quickie, okay? It's not always pleasurable. We're at the end of this video, but let me talk about the fifth one. And it typically involves positions that entail or have unstable surfaces. Positions attempted on unstable surfaces like countertops, chairs, can become not only uncomfortable and unpleasant, but can also become really dangerous very fast. We've seen the funny videos online, people attempting to have sex on a some kind of unstable chair, it breaking, someone hurting themselves. But beyond that, I'm a strong advocate for experimenting, for introducing fun into the bedroom and just, you know, having a good time, right? When you're with the person that you love. But you want to apply a little bit of common sense. And I know sometimes, you know, those animalistic instincts just take over and you, you, you overdo things when you shouldn't be. The catch here is, I'm not speaking for all women, but a good number of women want to have time to make out, to have sex with a man that they love. They want to feel loved all over their bodies. They want you to not just jump straight to penetration or put her up on a kitchen counter because you've seen that happen in the movies. The kitchen counter may be slippery, may be hot, may not be ideal. It's an awkward position when you think about it, especially if you're a short guy and you're not even up to the height of the counter. And you know what I mean? Like if your penis is slightly below the countertop, it can be a really awkward position for the woman. It's either she slides forward a little bit to meet you or, you know, it's, it's, it can be a mess really quickly, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So yes, by all means, have fun. Yes, by all means, be adventurous. But also remember that intimacy is something that is meant to be enjoyed by both partners. And if at any point in time you're engaging in intimacy and you can tell that your woman is uncomfortable, you might want to switch it up. So are there sex positions that women hate? Well. These are some of the ones that I've mentioned. Nothing is cast in stone, but this video is more to just draw your attention towards certain things that you may not have really been paying attention to prior to watching this video. Go out there, make some decent love, and I'll catch you on the next one. My name is Jessica. Cheers. See ya. <laughs> I think I'll finish my drink. Ugh, my knees hurt.